Redmi Note 12 Pro, India's first 200 megapixel camera with 4980mAh battery, 120W fast charger, MediaTek Diamond City processor and Dolby speaker. Now let's see its camera. I have clicked some few pics, 200 megapixel picture is with greater resolution so you can see more details when you zoom in the picture. Now this is a 200 megapixel picture, this is a normal one, this is wide angle and portrait. 200 megapixel is not that too great for the skin tone, it looks bit saturated and this needs to be improved. Zoom in works really good, you can see the picture quality, it is even good even in a normal mode. I have also taken a picture in a macro shot that is also really good now this is a macro shot picture and regarding the videos you now this is like 1080 pixels and I preferably keep it in 60 shutter speed so you have a lot of filters in it so you can choose the filter and when you go to the more option you can find vlog and ultra HD panoramic slow motion kind of options this is a 4k video which is okay I have also made use of this vlog option now let's see This is a normal video which is really good and everything is captured even though it is taken in the mist and overall the camera is really good but they need to work on the selfie camera and as well as the 200 megapixel on the skin tone. Now this video was taken around 6 pm the video has captured the sunset colors which is really brilliant. Now let's test whether it really takes 19 minutes to full charge. For me it took around 29 minutes which is half an hour. It has the best display, display is awesome and the colors are so bright and punchy. The touch screen is smooth like a butter, there's no lag. Now let's proceed to the unboxing. Ta-da! I purchased it in a flip card. The original price is around 34,000 but through offers I got it around 27,000 which is a really good deal. The weight of this phone is around 200 grams. Now let's see the contents of this box. So behind you can see all the features which is the best features which has been mentioned. One of the best feature is like the processor which they have used that the MediaTek processor is really good so gaming and all you won't find a lag because there is a vapor chamber. They have given the latest Android 13 OS along with 10 5G bands. This box is really cute and it's very premium like an iPhone box and when you pull it up, it just slides down like a pull up cake. Now let's see the contents of it. So first we have a TPU, transparent protective case. It's actually really good so I try to flex it um, so it is fine, it is not that bad. And next we have a SIM ejector, we have a user manual. And at last the phone which we have been waiting for so below we have the charger now this charger is kind of heavy compared to the phone it's a bit heavy <laughs> and then we have a type C cable they have given a premium iPhone kind of finish and the camera is, so the front facing camera is a 16 megapixel selfie camera and the back camera 
they have given three cameras so one is 200 megapixel which is super ois india's first hp sensor and they have given an ultra wide of 8 mp and a macro of 2 mp amoled display looks really good and it looks neat the design of this camera is curvy and it's very glossy you can even see your face when you turn the back side and on the left hand side you don't find anything at the bottom you can find charging port dolby speaker and a sim slot on the right you can find fingerprint and volume up and down buttons. At the top you can find another set of Dolby speaker along with 3.5 mm jack. The phone is so good that it is able to even stand. Now let's turn it on. So, as soon as you turn it on you can find the MI logo. They have provided Android 13 OS so it will pop up. So you can find Android 13 OS over here. So next you select your languages and then you can uh, insert your sim and then you can go ahead use your phone so the only thing which i find that needs to be improved is the selfie camera along with this 200 megapixel camera for the skin tone because it looks kind of neutral though it is not that too bad but can still be improved but for this budget it is definitely the best phone if you have been watching so far thanks for watching see you next one